Today's question was from Ron. Ron asked, I have a PPA, a provisional patent application. Do I need a prototype in order to get a licensing deal? Good question, Ron. So from my understanding, a licensing deal is really the result of reaching an agreement with a licensee. So really, you don't necessarily need a, a, a prototype or anything else. It's just a matter of agreeing with that licensee that they will pay you royalties if your product sells. So in some cases, a licensee may want to see and prove that your idea actually works, that your product will sell, things like that. You can do that not only with a prototype, you can pitch to a licensee and sell your product to them using uh, something as simple as a sell sheet, which is like an advertising document, you know, letter size or A4 that uh, highlights the benefits of your product, maybe shows how it's used, uh, defines how it's different, how it's unique and better than what's on the market and how it will get that, uh, that company to the next level and beat the market. Now, if you're interested in making prototypes, there's a little more to know. Uh, we'll have a lot of sessions on prototyping in the inventor school, but for now, you can focus on how you make uh, sell sheets uh, really effective. So one of the ways you can do that is to use some simple prototypes, very cheap and DIY quick prototypes. Uh, these can be something like a, a hacked version of an existing product where you take a product off the shelf, uh, make your small changes that make your product unique, and then demonstrate that product as a new prototype. That's totally legitimate. Uh, you can also make uh, looks like prototypes. Right? They look like the final product, but they don't actually work. So you can use that to either demonstrate your product in a video or to take photos and Photoshop them into your sell sheet. It can really help to show licensees or anyone else you're marketing to that, uh, you know, the context of your idea and make it more real and more believable. You're really, you know, you are selling this. And so, you know, a lot of sales is getting someone to believe you. So these are uh, part of the approaches of, of using prototypes. Now, so really the bottom line is no, you don't need a prototype, uh, especially right in the, in the beginning. One of the best things to do is to get some initial feedback from a licensee on whether they like your idea, whether they want your idea. Certainly don't run out and spend a lot of money on a prototype until you've guaranteed to some extent that it's going to be worth something to someone. Real uh, effective prototyping is to start cheap and validate and then go on to more professional level prototypes. Um, so yeah, that's it. And even sometimes your uh, licensee may want to prototype it themselves. They may have uh, professionals that they work with to validate uh, inventors' designs to make sure that they work properly. Because at the end of the day, you only make money as an inventor when the product sells. So it's in your best interests to test the idea, go step by step, and stick with it. Thanks. I hope that was helpful. See you next time.